In the news today, in conjunction with the celebration of the Diamond Jubilee of the University of Lagos, the University of Lagos Medical Center holds its annual Health Week, themed Medication Safety. The Health Week is set to begin on the 30th of November and end on the 2nd of December. Members of the university community are cordially invited. Members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, are set to invoke the no pay, no work in retaliation to the federal government's policy of no work, no pay against them, reiterating that they have warned the government to stop the casualization of ASU members through payment of half salaries. The National Board for Technical Education during the talk with the news agency of Nigeria Kaduna State says that holders of higher national diploma HND will soon be employed as assistant lecturers in polytechnics and monotechnics, lamenting that it is a gross injustice for HND holders to be relegated as technicians and technologists in laboratories and workshops in polytechnic sector. The Association of Christian School Owners of Nigeria throws its weight behind Minister of Education Malam Adamo Adamo over the removal of the curriculum on sexuality education taught in Nigerian schools, stating that the issue of sexuality education is a ploy by the Western world to drag Nigeria into moral decadence. And that's it on the bulletin. Many thanks for watching. My name is Vina Peters. Good day.